So the other day, right, the other day, I gave you one end of the spectrum of criminality, right? I said, I said, there's some people, they just can't help themselves. <laughs> they really are their own worst enemy. Like, they would have not gotten no million dollar bond if they just stayed in their car. Bro, they could have stayed right there and not said shit with their active warrants. With your active warrants from two other fucking police departments in the local fucking area. I didn't even read that shit the first time while I was doing the whole video. That He had two active fucking warrants. So, uh, keep in mind, what most people do when you have warrants, you try to really hide. I've known people to strip, put on the baseball cap, bend the bill, so that people from the side of you couldn't tell it was them. <laughs> like, I see, like, when you have active warrants, you're not trying to be on foot, period. And they call them walking. So this is from the other side of the spectrum. This is from a side of the spectrum that is totally like next level ingenious. Like this is, you are trying so hard for a legal hustle that you don't realize what you're doing is illegal. So this dude, this is why I love Danbury. It's always some like, like either the murder rate will turn the fuck up out of nowhere. There'll be big gang fights going on. Like, just some shit will happen out of nowhere. I love that shit. Like, like they had a little girl get shot in the middle of the mall. And like, she, apparently she just ate that shit. It was a 42. She just ate that shit right to the chest. Like, it was nothing. Like, fucking, so... At La Quinta, which keep in mind, it's one of like the nicest hotels in Danbury, probably. <laughs> I should tell you something about Danbury. If the La Quinta Inn is like their idea of world class. Like there are a bunch of hotels that we couldn't stay at in Danbury. They would, they like had our name on a list or something. Because it was weird. All the ones that would let us stay there were basically in the same area. Like Hampton would let us stay there. Uh, the fucking other one. I forget what the other, but like there was like a few in the same area. There. Oh yeah, Best Western. But like then if we went to fucking, if we tried to go to Holiday Inn, or we tried to go to, what was the other, Quality Inn, it's like our name was on the list. Anyways, this dude is in the La Quinta. Okay, La Quinta's kind of nice. It's got a nice little lobby. It's kind of cool. They don't, they, they definitely don't, wouldn't uh, uh, let me stay there long term. I stayed there like one night. I know they wouldn't let me stay. They, they would have had a problem with me at one point. They would have been like, he's going in and out the lobby too much. <laughs> like, some shit like that, bro. Like, they wouldn't have, like, He was trying to sell shit to people in the lobby. Like, he was always in the parking lot with random cars coming and going, trying to bring random people to his room. Like, always some shit like that. Uh, he had a lot of visitors. <laughs> so, anyways, this dude is in the La Quinta. Danbury, and yo, I gotta give it to some people, man. Some people is so out the box with shit, it's really like almost not illegal. This dude, without no type of MD, PhD, none of that, no doctorate of any sort, is doing dental operations in the La Quinta. In a, he rented a room. He just got the drill. Bro, he had the drill. He had the x-ray machine. He had the water equipment. He had it all. He, he had it all, man. Like, there's a lot of shit I want to say during this video, given this man's race, that I'm not going to say because I don't want to be taken out of context. But some people find a way, man. No matter what, they find a way. Them motherfuckers find a way for everything. You want it done for cheaper, they will They will get it done. That's the whole purpose of the cartel. That's all I'm going to say on that. That's about as much as I can say without being misconstrued. Anyway, let's get into it. So listen, I'm, I'm, uh, I had to put both. Bro, it made NBC. That's how unique this man was. The other dude, he ain't make the NBC, man. He only made the regular shit like this. But yeah, it's dude in Danbury at the La Quinta. What was his name? He was Hispanic, though. He was Hispanic. At least he looked it. Uh, his name was... Basically, he was running an illegal dental operation inside the La Quinta Hotel in Danbury, according to police. 
<laughs> Yo, how do you even do that? I ain't gonna lie. I found some websites, bro. You can really order the whole shit. Except for the Novocaine. But it said he had amoxicillin and other drugs. I'm wondering what them other drugs were. But his bond only 350k. He get that 35k with a bondsman. A bondsman not even gonna look at you for that one million shit unless you put the house up. <laughs> like for real. They entered his hotel room, found an operating set with dental drills, suction machines, and an X-ray machine. This dude had an X. He was doing X-rays, bro. Like. <laughs> I, I was like, I was under the impression like x-rays was like million dollar machines, but they're like 20,000, 30,000, but you could get like a little portable one that only does the dental shit for like 500, 600. I think it might have been like, cause like the cheapest ones before that was like 6,000, 7,000. Like them shits is expensive, bro. Like all them machines is hella bread. Like they, I feel like they're designed to be the type of shit you have to buy with a loan. Anyways, yeah, look at look at look at Elvis right there. That's Elvis. That's what I'm gonna call. Him. Yeah, he's Hispanic. Yeah, Hugo Moraes de Lima, and he was charged with practicing dentistry without a license, illegal scale prescription drugs. So what else did he had? Because it really only said in the other shit I read they had amoxicillin. 